guys, it's JJ Inc. 24. So if you remember, a couple of weeks ago, um, in System Test 47, I mentioned that I had a surprise on the way. And here it is. It's a Anzol Auto Pulse 442R uh, agent release panel. And I got this for a pretty good deal off of eBay. Um, not to replace a 4004 or anything. Um, but I'm going to show you guys around it and do a quick test. So first of all, this panel is actually made by Firelight, I believe, just rebranded by Anzel. Um, and it's strange because it actually opens up with the notifier key. But, so on the inside, as you can see, we just have some labels over there. Um, and then we get to this part, and here we have the uh, control buttons and stuff. Um, we have tone silence, alarm silence, alarm activate, and system reset. And then, uh, once again, this is a release panel. So it's a bit different than a regular alarm panel. So we have zone 1, zone 2, an abort zone, and then a manual release zone. So if zone 1 or zone 2 are activated on this panel, then it will initiate a countdown stage. And then um, after the countdown stage, then that's when the release circuit would be activated. And I actually don't have anything hooked up to the release circuit right now. Um, I just have things hooked up on the indicating circuits. So then the abort zone, um, when that's activated, it actually pauses the timer, uh, pauses the countdown before the system would dump. And then the manual release zone um, just sets off, it skips the whole entire timer phase and just sets, and would just dump the system right away. So then we have the labels right here, we have AC power, system alarm release, supervisory trouble, four, three troubles, and then a silence light. And then, uh, yeah, so, um, for the alarms hooked up, it's not on right now, by the way. So for the alarms I have hooked up, I have a BG-12 LRA. This is kind of a cool pull station because, uh, first of all, um, it's like a BG-12, except it says agent release on it. And then this metal plate with the abort switch on it is actually built in as part of the BG-12. So, um, it's pretty cool. So then also, I have an Anzel, uh... MS2, labeled as Fire Suppression System Release. Obviously, this is made by FCI. There's an MS2 right there. But, um, that's pretty cool too. And then right here, I have an EST uh, key switch that I'm using. Um, and this, this key switch is hooked up to the manual release zone. Uh, one of these is hooked up to zone 1. One of these is hooked up to zone 2. And obviously, the abort button is hooked up to the abort zone. So then up here, I have, for the alarms, a Wheelock MT horn set on low volume bell, and then a, uh, um, Anzel strobe, actually, this one's actually made by Wheelock, it's just rebranded by Anzel, um, anyway, so, let's plug this in really fast, um, so let me plug this in. Alright, and as you can see, I do have a trouble on here. Um, because I don't have a battery. I don't know if you can see that LED. It's not in focus, but that's for the uh, battery trouble, um, and it's on. So, <clears throat> um, I just need to change one of these settings really fast. So I'm setting the timer on this panel so that um, it will count down for 10 seconds, and then it will go off. So... Here we go. Alright, that's mildly concerning because that strobe is supposed to be flashing. So I hope I just had a wire fall out or something. And yeah, I just had a wire fall out. Uh, so let me reset this, and I'll fix that really fast. All right, so I screwed that wire back in. So uh, take two, here we go. And before I do it, I don't have those lights hooked up yet, uh, the normal and activated lights. So.
Alright, and as you can see, that was a 10 second countdown, and then when the alarm started uh, going steady instead of pulsing, that's when the system would have released. So let's reset this. And I guess this pole was hooked up under zone 2. So, um, reset this. Alright, and then I'm going to set off the MS2 now, and then I'll also, um, go down the abort switch. Uh, so you can see how it delays the timer. And also, um, if I hold on the abort switch now, then we can see it flash um, on the panel right there, except it doesn't do anything, it just flashes if there's not an alarm in the system. So, here we go. Alright, so um, let's reset the MS2, it's kind of hard with one hand, I'll have to use my foot to help. Alright, so now uh, for the manual release circuit, when it's activated, uh, the panel skips the countdown process and just go straight into alarm. Um, so, here we go. Alright, and I keep forgetting. Uh, on this panel, you don't have to um, silence the um, tone and then silence the alarm separately. If you press the alarm silence button, it does them both for you. So, reset that now. Alright, and that's all for this system test uh, for now. I'll make some more videos with this panel in the future. And then I also plan on making a demonstration board for this, but that probably won't happen for another couple of months. But if you should have any requests um, for this panel, just let me know and I'll try to get them, in, and I'll try to get them done. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.